Uh, please help me welcome Jose Pinera. Thank you very much. I believe that a, a pension time bond threatens not only the single currency but also European integration. And I am astonished of the fact that the political leadership of Europe do not understand the seriousness of this threat. It is a time bomb because of three reasons. First, the unfunded liabilities of the pay-as-you-go state-run pension systems are enormous. We all know the studies by the OECD where they say that they are around 200%, even 250% of GNP in the main countries of the Eurozone. You must remember that those numbers are four times the ceiling imposed by the Maastricht Treaty on official debt. And here you have an unofficial, implicit, disguised debt that is four times the ceiling of the Maastricht Treaty. Second, the uh, main culprit of this, of course, are the incredibly generous benefits created by the welfare state in Europe, and I believe there is an enormous downward inflexibility to cut those benefits uh, directly. The culture of dependency of entitlement in Europe makes it very difficult to cut benefits. We have seen the strikes recently in France, in Italy, uh, in Austria, just because they were making marginal changes to public employees' uh, pension system. Imagine the day when they will have to do a, a great benefit cuts in order to balance uh, uh, the system. It's very difficult to discuss these issues in Europe. There was even a, an advisor to a labor ministry in Italy that was killed because he advocated some little labor flexibility in this country. Imagine the day when someone says the pension system is simply bankrupt uh, as it is. And third, I believe there is a clearly asymmetrical crisis in Europe. And that is very important. I distinguish between what I call a, a funded Europe and an unfunded Europe. I believe a division much more interesting than an old and new Europe because I don't see anything wrong with an old Europe. On the contrary, I enjoy enormously old Europe, its museum, its palaces, and its wisdom. But a funded versus an unfunded Europe is a big problem. Now, which countries are increasingly funded in terms of pensions? Well, first of all, those who have a good public finances, like Ireland or Luxembourg. Second, those who have large private pension systems, like the United Kingdom or the Netherlands. And third, those who have begun introducing personal uh, retirement accounts, and those countries, for example, like uh, Sweden or like Poland. So you have an emerging group of countries whose pension uh, requirements for the future are increasingly funded. There are real assets in order to pay the promised benefits. But there are other countries, and specifically the four big ones of continental Europe, France, uh, Italy, uh, Germany, and Spain, who have no private uh, pension system and whose systems are uh, enormously in, in, in debt. Now, this is very important for the euro because, of course, asymmetries in uh, uh, fiscal problems will be an enormous threat to a single uh, uh, currency. That is very well known, and Larry Kotlikov has written extensively about the impact of asymmetrical generational imbalance on a common currency. Now, the problem, and what is new, is that uh, in whole history, when a country had a, a problem like this, you could simply uh, print money, uh, have inflation, devalue the currency. That has been the case in, in Europe since uh, Roman times, and of course it has been the case all over uh, Latin America. Inflation as an indirect way to lower pension benefits. Politicians do not dare to pass a law saying benefits must be cut by 20%, but they uh, can easily have this indirect way of cutting benefits. Well, the euro prevents that. As long as the European Central Bank is a serious technical or political institution, they will not be willing simply to accommodate these uh, uh, enormous fiscal problems and create inflation. And if they do, then uh, uh, the 
viability of the euro will be uh, in, in problem. Specifically because there will be this clash maybe inside the board of the European Central Bank or inside the, uh, the, the political parliament between this fund of Europe that would not like to go the way of inflation and euro devaluation and the unfunded countries. As you know, some people have even talked about uh, eventual secession from the euro and Martin Ferguson have even written a paper on the threat of a war. I don't believe it will go uh, that way, but I do believe there will be a, a sort of generational war in which uh, uh, young people will resent the high payroll taxes and the confiscation of the saving ability and the elderly will live in anxiety and insecurity because they will know that eventually their benefits will not be paid.